Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I have my first actual guitar run in finish right now. And we're in assembly with the shadow. That thing is done. We just have to assemble it and put strings on it, tune it up. This one here, this, um, this Asp six string with the blue, I ran into a problem with the CNC machine. And so I had to uh, fix some problems here and I'll, I'll explain what that was. And we're gonna also gonna start a new body run. Um, I'm gonna do five guitars in this next body run. I'm much more confident in the process. I have most of the templates made. Um, I'm just gonna try to do things that are more difficult. So when those problems do happen in the future, I'll already have them fixed in this next body run. So this next body run isn't gonna be like super fast. I'm still taking my time. Um, I don't know if they're gonna be considered prototypes, but um, they're gonna be you know, early, they're not gonna be perfect. Um, but then again, they're all not gonna be perfect. Of course, they're all handmade, but um, I'm still gonna do the best I can at them, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. So first, let me show you the issue I ran into with this guy here. So it might be difficult to see, but underneath the swirl down here, and underneath the first part of the K, there's a little black line. It kind of makes it look like a shadow almost for the logo itself. That is an accident. That's not intentional. What happened was over on the CNC machine, um, when it was carving, when it was inlaying the, the, the headstock here, uh, what happened was the battery in my laptop actually died. I did not have it plugged in, so I won't do that again. But the battery died, and after the battery died and the computer shut down, uh, the CNC machine didn't know how to return to zero. So I had to put this back on and reposition it and set everything back up. And I wasn't able to line it up perfectly. And so it's about a 64th of an inch. Um, the new carving's a 64th of an inch off down here. Up here it's, it's fine, but down here it's a knot. And basically I had to sand this whole thing flat today and reinstall it. And it was a little bit tedious. Uh, basically I had to, the problem was preventing the blue from bleeding into the natural. So the way I did that, I just used a very fine paintbrush and I painted the logo itself with uh, epoxy sealer. And then I stained the peg head and it did not bleed in. So that's how I did that. Um, this neck is now ready for finish. So we can get this sprayed. I already have the back of the neck sprayed. I already did some finish work on it, but we're gonna have to scuff sand it and, and shoot another coat of satin on there and put a couple coats on the front here, see if we have any drop fills and stuff to do. And this one will be ready for assembly after that. So over here we have the succubus. This is just tongue oil, a tongue oil finish. Same thing with the neck. This is also tongue oil. I like the way tongue oil looks better on natural instruments. I just like, I like the feel of it. I like the look of it. It looks more, it looks more woody, right? It doesn't look, um, even with satin finish with nitrocellulose, like, like this one here, it's got that little bit of a glare to it. I'm not into that as much. You know, I just don't, I like natural, you know, and the reason that this one is sprayed nitrocellulose is because it's just an experiment to make sure that I didn't like it and I don't. So that all of my natural instruments from now on will be tongue oil. So yeah, these instruments are just, you know, experiments, they're prototypes. I just wanted to see if that's really what I wanted. This thing here, it just needs to be level sanded and like one more coat on it and that thing will be ready for assembly once the neck is done, of course. All right, because these things are in finish, um, we're gonna be able to, this one's actually done. I'm not gonna be doing any pore filling or anything. It's just, you know, a couple coats of nitrocellulose with a satin coat on top. That's all it really needs. I don't wanna put too much finish on it. Um, this thing here, this is um, entirely tongue oil, the whole thing, um, including the neck. The neck and the fingerboard is tongue oil. This thing here is nitrocellulose. This needs to be level um, leveled and uh, like one more coat of satin on that and that'll be done. And this one here is just starting in the finish. But I don't, again, I don't put too much finish on these. 
I only finish them for like three days of nitrocellulose. And then I level sand and do a final coat later. And then this guy here is also, um, I think this one's actually done. So that's what the neck looks like finished. This one here is actually ready for assembly. So um, since we're in the finishing stage and assembly and all that, I think what we can do is start a new body run. I think we're gonna do, um, so, so we're gonna do an eight string XKM. Um, this one was originally designed for a guy, uh, Dave Williams in Pennsylvania. He was one of my first customers. He actually got, I think it was serial number six and it was a custom design that he wanted. He wanted something like the XK, but he wanted the top horn a little bit longer and a little bit different. Plus it was an eight string. So uh, I, this is the template for that. I really like that design. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just build one of these. I'll build another asp, another shadow, maybe another manta and another succubus. And then um, in the meantime, this little thing here, this was a, just a, a sketch that I had, but I, you know, there, some of these curves and horns and stuff are, are pretty, I kind of like them, but I need to, I need to redesign this basically. And this is called the Venom design. I'll be uh, redesigning that and we'll probably build one of these in the following run. And anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to share today. Just showing you where I'm at. A lot of those nice exotic topwoods I'll be using for the, this next run. So definitely uh, stick around, check those out um, in the next couple videos. And that's, I think that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.